Hi, I'm Will, and we're going to piss some people off today. So this is a message to fanboys. Now before you start getting offended, I'm going to define some terms. Being that you're a comic book fan does not make you a fanboy. If you love superheroes, if you love Star Trek, that does not in and of itself make you a fanboy. I've been reading comic books for 24 years. I am not a fanboy. Why am I not a fanboy? I'm not a fanboy because... I understand what logic is and I know how things work and I'm not insane that's a very very important uh, quality to have is to not be insane if you're insane you're probably a fanboy and if you're a fanboy you're probably insane there are a lot of people that are gonna be pissed off by the things that I have to say in this video I don't care I know it's harsh but I simply don't care about your feelings there are things that I'm gonna say in this video that you might agree with if you agree with what I'm saying, you're probably not a fanboy, and good for you. However, if you're offended by the things that I say, if they hit a little too close to home, and if you're guilty of these things, you're probably a fanboy and you should probably shut up from now on, because we're tired of hearing you. Alright, first things first. This is a comic book. This is a movie. They're not the same thing. And you can't judge them as if they were. Movies and comic books are completely different forms of media. They play by different rules. They have to be treated in different ways. In fact, there is no comic book movie in the history of ever that is 100% true to the source material. Not one. The closest that comes is Watchmen. Watchmen is probably about 98% true to the source material. In a lot of ways, Watchmen is word for word the comic book. In a lot of ways. There are some changes. But in a lot of ways, it's word for word the comic book. And fanboys hate it. Fanboys hate Watchmen. And when you say, when you point out, well, you hate the X-Men movies because they deviate from the source material. But Watchmen is almost 100% the source material. And they say, well, that's uh, an example of it staying too close to the source material. I've got news for you. You don't get to have it both ways. You don't get to whine and cry because things are changed and whine and cry because things are still the tr stay, things stay the same. You don't get to do that. When you do that, guys like me tell you to shut up. Stop being elitists. There is nothing worse than comic book fans that sit on their high horse talking like they're all high and mighty. Guess what? You don't know shit. That's right, I said it. Alright, so listen. Uh, back in late last year, Grace Randolph, who don't get me wrong, she's an idiot, but Grace Randolph started a petition to get a PG-13 edit of Deadpool put into theaters so that smaller kids could see it. The fanboys had a fit over this. Why? Why? It doesn't affect you. There was still going to be the rated R version. You could still go see the rated R version. The reason why you were mad is because you want to be able to say, this is not for kids, this is for grown-ups. You can't bring your kids to come see this comic book movie. Well, guess what? Some parents would like to be able to show Deadpool to their kids. I, personally, I found a download of it. I downloaded it, and I made a PG-13 edit myself. Okay, it was a soft R. But it was still edited for my 10-year-old child to see. Because he wanted to see it. It meant the world to him. Okay? And that's all Grace Randolph was trying to do. She was trying to do a solid for the kids that are too young to see Deadpool. And you wouldn't have it. Why? Because that would take away your elitism. Stop it. You know, you guys are real quick to tell other people to go read comics. Maybe you should start reading some yourself. Very few Marvel comics allow for the F word to be published 
in in the comics. They don't say it. They bleep it out. It's symbols. But go look at Deadpool comics from the uh, the 90s. They're definitely PG-13. They're still silly. They're still violent. They're still Deadpool. You still know when he's saying fuck, but he doesn't say fuck. He says a bunch of stuff, a bunch of symbols. And you know what it is because you're not an idiot. Oh, well, I forgot who I was talking to for a minute. There would be nothing wrong with a PG-13 Deadpool. Especially since Grace Randolph didn't want only a PG-13. She wanted both versions. It would be great if they put both versions out on, on uh, Blu-ray and DVD when it came out. But they're not going to do that. Because you guys threw a fit. Stop being elitists. Nobody likes it. Especially when you probably haven't been late in your whole life. Yeah, I said that too. Listen, we're all comic book fans. We all want the stories to be told properly, okay? And when something like uh, the Dark Phoenix Saga and X-Men 3 happens, we're all disappointed. But I know fanboys all over the internet that say things that are just completely stupid. Like that the X-Men movies are completely unrecognizable as the X-Men. No, they're not. They're, pla they're plainly the X-Men. They're just a different version of the X-Men. Guess what? Sometimes Batman kills people. It happens in the comics. It's happened in every movie. Every movie! There are only two live-action Batmans that have not killed anyone. Okay? Those two live-action Batmans are Adam West and George Clooney. Do you want George Clooney back? I'm sure he'll come. Let's get him on the phone. Hey, somebody get George Clooney on the phone. We want him to play Batman because he doesn't kill anybody. Stop it. You're going to make the movies bad. You're crying. You're bitching. You're going to make the movies bad. All right? Back in 1992, Batman Returns came out and was one of the greatest Batman movies ever made. But parents who complained that it wasn't kid-friendly, that it was too violent, that it was too grotesque, that it was too dark, that it was too Tim Burton, that it was too Batman, complained. And Warner Brothers took their complaints to heart. And you know what we got after that? Batman Forever. And Batman Forever wasn't terrible. So we all went and saw it. So Warner Brothers thought they were doing the right thing. So then we got Batman and Robin. Do you want Batman and Robin? That's how you get Batman and Robin! Listen. You guys need to grow up. And that's just the truth, okay? You need to grow up. Because comic books aren't that important. They're just not. They're just not that important. It's not going to ruin your whole life if there's a PG-13 cut of Deadpool that you never have to watch. It's not going to ruin your life. It's not, I promise. Get a job. Go to work. Learn how to be a grown-up. Stop spending your whole life talking about comics. I talk about comic books. I talk about movies. I write about movies. I still have grown-up responsibilities that I have to handle. And I handle them. And I go about probably 80% of my day. It doesn't have anything to do with comic books or movies or superheroes. And it's a pretty good life. I go outside and I talk to people. You should try it. Try talking to people. It's fun. Trailers aren't ruining movies for you, okay? There is no way that a three-minute trailer is going to ruin a two-and-a-half-hour movie. It's not possible. There's just so much there to still be surprised by. And you know what? If it really bothers you that they showed Doomsday in the Batman v Superman trailer, that they showed Wolverine in the X-Men Apocalypse trailer, if these things really bother you, there's a very simple and very easy solution. Stop watching the trailers! Even trailers that specifically ruin the movie, that literally tell you how the movie ends, that ruin the biggest reveal of the movie in the trailer, even those trailers, you don't know, you don't really know what's going on. You don't know, you don't know that it ruined the movie for you until you see the movie. Let's take Terminator, for example. Terminator Genesis showed John Connor as a Terminator in the trailer. But when you watch the trailer, before you knew what was going on, you're like, hey, what was that? Is John Connor a Terminator? They wouldn't do that, would they? No, that must be a Terminator disguised as John Connor. 
oh, but there's this, it could be this. It causes speculation. It makes people want to see the movie. That's what a trailer is for, to make you want to see the movie. Also, Doomsday wasn't the biggest surprise in Batman v Superman. Spoiler, spoiler alert. If you haven't seen Batman and Super, Batman v Superman yet, I'm about to spoil the shit out of that movie. The death of Superman was the big surprise and at the end of that movie. That was the big reveal. And then the, the dirt rising up, so you're like, oh, he's alive! That was the big surprise in the movie. It wasn't Doomsday. It just wasn't. All right, I know that I've pissed a lot of you off. As I said at the beginning, I don't care. Leave your hate comments. Leave them right down there. That's where they go. They go right down there. Leave your hate comments. I don't care. I'm not going to read them. If I do read them, I'm going to say something back to you. And it's not going to be nice because I don't care about your feelings. I don't care about your butt hurt. I, I, don't, I don't care that you're not going to be able to sleep tonight while you're laying on your mom's couch. I just don't. I don't care. These things needed to be said. And you needed to hear them. And if you were truly offended by the things that I just said, you might want to think about changing your behavior. Because the rest of us, we're not going to change. We're going to continue to like the X-Men movies. We're going to continue to think that Marvel is just okay. We're going to continue to think that Marvel consistently has subpar villains. Except for Kingpin. He was awesome. We're going to continue to enjoy Man of Steel and Batman v Superman. And we're going to continue to point out how wrong your accusations on those movies are. Because I'll, let, I'll tell you something right now. Batman v Superman was a great movie. It was great. It had layers. It was well written. It had character development. It was not at all any of the things that you people say that it is. You're just mad. Because you spend your whole life being angry. And... Life's too short to be mad all the time, especially about a comic book movie. So if you don't like the movies, don't go to them. If you don't like the trailer showing you things that happens in the movie, stop watching them. Or you can continue to cry on the internet. And guys like me will continue to tell you to stop crying and to grow up. I'm Will, and this has been The Movie Files. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Hi, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and make sure you head on over to The Blaze and check out my weekly column where I do movie reviews and general Hollywood industry commentary. You can find the links for all those things in the description below. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.